hey guys welcome to my youtube channel it's real life with ron i want to, and today i wanted to talk about um me and my ex-childhood sweetheart and i wanted to make it a question to you guys as well like do you think you could marry your childhood sweetheart but at the moment i'm going to tell you what i think about it and if i could marry them and it didn't work for me so it's a no so i'm just going to go into the situation of what actually happened so basically, I was about 15 years old, growing up in like, where can I say, South London, Woolworth Road area. And he was 15 as well, growing up in about Campbell area. So still South London, but just different areas. Um, we met at a party. So basically, we used to go to these under 18 raves and um, we used to go there. So he was in a dance group. I think it was Dagger Star. Yeah, it was Dagger Star. <laughs> and I was in a dance group with my friends as well. And um, we used to like put, go and get t shirts done with like our names on it and go, oh my God, it was actually embarrassing. Get leg, we used to go and buy leggings from Primark and proper go out like we thought we were things. Plimp soles, sometimes like open toe sandals, it was a mess. Get your hair done, maybe in fishbone or something and just go out. Anyway, long story short, met him there and um it's a bit shy everyone was like oh he's so ping i was thinking yeah he's okay but i didn't really know how to speak to him so i left it so when i used to see him at the parties i won't say nothing then one day i saw him at downfisher youth club some youth club that was in bermondsey that we all used to go to when we were young and then um i think i was like oh i didn't even say nothing actually we just kept staring at each other staring at each other and I was thinking, oh, he's actually nice. But I was like, oh. Anyway, long story short, I saw him on the bus one day. Then he was bare staring at me. I was bare staring at him. Long story short, exchange numbers. And then we just kept talking. I think it was BBM times, you know. We used to like BBM each other. And then we got mad clothes. He now came to my house one day. I introduced him to my mom as a friend because my mom was so strict. And then um, I went to his family. He introduced me to his grand parents as his friend as well and then we just used to spend a lot of time with each other we were like year 10 year, year 10 and year 11 so we met in year 10 i think beginning of year 10 so we used to spend bare time together we were so close and we started we started fancying each other we used to like kiss and stuff but we were like you know when you're 15 16 you're a bit like like do you want to like you don't know if you're going to get into beating or for example sex but we say beating in it in London um you don't know if you're gonna get into beating and stuff yet so you're just taking it slow slow so anyway um so yeah so it was cool everything was fine and then um we decided that we want to be girlfriend and boyfriend so he asked me to be his girlfriend I was so gassed I was so happy I was like oh my god so we used to talk on the phone all the time we used, and then there was like five five day pass so we used to buy it and we used to call each other all the time on the fifth day when it's nearly 12 and it's running out We'll be talking, talking. We just the next thing you know, you just hear the phone like, "Oh, your credit is done." I'll be thinking, "Oh my god!" Then we'll probably buck up the next day after school, hang around. But our our families knew that we spoke, but they didn't know we was going out. So when we got to like the end of year eleven, we now finished. We done our GCSEs. We both got good grades. Then we decided that we're going to apply for colleges. So, but we decided that we'll apply for one college that we both we both might go to together. And that was St. Charles. So we applied for St. Charles and we both got in and then we went there together, even though we had other colleges that we could have gone to. And then, yeah, we spent two years in St. Charles. So now say we're about 17, 18, we're proper in our relationship, maybe like two years in our relationship now. People are finding out, everyone's like, oh my God, um, Renisha and him are so good. I'm not going to say his name. Renisha and him are so good. And like, oh my God, they're so cute. And people used to put us up and we used to put up each other's initials and put up each other. The, um, Instagram and Snap wasn't really like load. It wasn't bait them days. I don't know. It was more like Facebook and stuff. So we used to put in a relationship on Facebook and yeah, we were just mad gassed. And when it was our anniversary, we will go ham. One Valentine's Day, he even bought me a ring from Argos. It was like 90 pounds. Them to have 90 pounds a lot. My friends were like, oh my God, like he bought you a ring. Yeah, we was doing the most. So I thought like, this is actually serious levels now. This is marriage now. Like this is my childhood sweetheart. We're never breaking up, like no matter what. Cause like my mom, my mom as well, she was so strict. Like you can't bring bare guys home. And I think that was the, 
first guy I brought home seriously because there's another guy I kind of liked when I was 15. He was one year older than me. So I think when I was in year nine, he was in year 10. When I was in year 10, he was in year 11. Um, but my mum didn't like him. I brought him just to say hi, like, mum, this is my male friend. No. Nope. And then when I started seeing his character around the area and stuff in South, how he would behave with, with females and stuff, I was like, nope. So yeah, didn't work out for us. So yeah, we was together, we was happy. But then when we got to like, the middle ending of first year some things happened with like his family and obviously growing up in his life he already had issues but he only started telling me over time so i used to think it's okay like he's going through some things but he'll grow out of it he's a big man but he didn't it just kept getting worse and worse and worse in terms of like our relationship got toxic because of what he was going through and obviously he didn't have his mum and dad that raised him so he didn't know how to well this is what he now says now that we've broken up he didn't have a um a mum and dad to show him how to respect women and treat women and all of that so basically i feel like as well there was a lot of things that added to it like he learned how to smoke weed um he had friends that were smoking girls you grow you get more handsome because in the beginning he was so humble don't get me wrong he's still humble but he has ways that I don't like but i used to think i have to accept it because we're not breaking up this is my childhood sweetheart this is my baby to get it. so then um so then um so, so, so that's what happened so then anyway i decided i'll just stay with him he'll get over it he'll change but then um he didn't so for example where i'll say he didn't is like we'll have an argument instead of him to like just talk to me and like just be calm he'll get angry and aggressive he'll want to manhandle me maybe even a cheeky like hit me and then come out of the moment and be like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry and it just kept getting worse like the the manhandling and stuff will get so heated where it will get to like bigger levels where you need to be careful for like not for your life per se but i could physically get myself hurt just because i'm saying let me stay but anyway, I really liked him. So my best friend at the time, Sharon, her name's not Sharon, but I'm just gonna say that. She was like, you need to leave him. He's da 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 I'm thinking, okay. But at the same time, I felt like he could change. And it's not like we had anything, do you get it? It was just us two. It's not like I had other fit people to worry about. Also, I used to have problems with my mum. You know, like when you're living with your parents and you're a young girl, sometimes your mum gets on your nerves. So I felt like, no, like if we just get through college and then if we go uni or we get a job, we'll get a place together, we'll get married. And he always said to me that he will marry me one day in our 20s maybe. And I was just like, oh. And then he even used to go to my church. We even got baptised together with my family because my mum turned Christian at the same time we were kind of together in like my younger days. My mum turned Christian when I was in my like teens. And then, like, I was just like, oh, my God. Like, he used to come and stay at my house. He was, like, my brother, my boyfriend, my best friend. I was like, no, I can't leave him. But then, one day, I now found out something very important that changed my life. And when I found that thing out, I was like, no. No, it's not going to work. So, anyway... This is another story time but it can be added to this to get my point across so i was going through all of that with him having arguments we'll even break up i'll be like you're dumped you're dumped then he'll text me i'm so sorry i love you and i'll be like oh this is so bad he'll be like please just come and see me let's just talk about it i'll even say to him sometimes let's talk about it do you get it because i used to want to like make it work long story short I'm kind of trying to break up with him. I even had another male friend there that I thought was nice and stuff. And I thought, okay, Renish, you're not ugly. Do you get it? That like, you can move on. You're only like 19. But I was like, no, this is the my childhood sweetheart. Like, no one's going to understand my family issues, understand my parents, like my situation with my parents, mum and dad, my situation with my siblings, like how I get on with them, what I go through with them, um, all my family, like my other family, like my aunts and uncles, like he knows every single thing. So I was like, there's no way. But then this situation as that I'm going to explain showed me that I have to leave him regardless. So uh, one day I wasn't feeling well, went to the doctor's and they said you are pregnant 
when they said that to me i was like i'm what i was like no because it's like in my head when i was growing up i always thought that my childhood sweetheart or the person that i have a baby for i'm marrying them and there shouldn't be no problem because the guy that i will choose he will be different from my dad my brother's dad and the men that my mom has been with in the past that were not good to her jesus so anyway that happened now and i'm just like he's not ready for this situation like he he can be a very good dad because he was a good person but i felt like me and him getting married when he's toxic as hell and the child to grow up seeing that no way like now i just feel like people having a child and staying together and it's not working is lame because you know that the guy's not good you know that it's not gonna work but you're just doing it because of love and you think your child's gonna love you bears for it but when you when they grow up they will look at you like oh my god all the things that um my mum's gone through to be with this dad of mine that i don't rate her and you know now because like times are changing kids have more they're mad smart so they'll start talking to you anyhow you'll even be thinking like what the fuck so for me i feel like leaving the person is the right thing to do now when i was growing up and my mom would like tell me she left my dad i'll be like why because i wish i had a dad you know what i mean but now i'm actually going like it was happening in my situation my situation was now occurring i was like yeah this is not easy boy especially if the guy's not good if there's ways you can sort things out that's fine but when it comes to abuse the guy's hitting you and talking down to you and then saying sorry da -da 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 -da. it's too like it's like physical abuse mental abuse just bare abuse mixed in one so it was like no so anyway found out i was pregnant now i knew he'll be a good dad that was not my problem but i just didn't want to have a baby with someone that i'm not going to be with so anyway i started i went to my best friend's house now sharon and i was like oh my god like i don't want to have this baby like oh my god and she was like oh my god you can't have his baby you know friends like girls are so fake oh my god let me take you to the abortion clinic you can't have his baby bro tear tear anyway now i was like no nah, i want to have it because i'm a christian as well you get that like thing in you where god's talking to you like girl you better sort yourself out and have your child you get me like you decide to open your legs long story short now my friend takes me to the abortion clinic but that was like over time because i was taking mad long to go like i didn't want to go anyway went there now doing the scan thing whatever like yeah it's only one baby and then the woman was like i'm sorry to tell you can't abort your baby i was thinking what and it's like it's not even like what like i did i wanted to do it because i kind of didn't want to do it anyway but you know you're just thinking what because i kind of like was getting it from like an inner voice from god that have your child and i knew as soon as my mom found out she'll say the same thing and even when i told him i was going to abort he was like don't abort my you don't more like your belly's too grown like you're like something weeks and we don't do it in, unless you're something something weeks you have to, but now you're over something something weeks we can't do it the way my face dropped i was at like, i didn't care because like, i didn't mind to have the child but it's just that like, oh my god i'm actually having a baby with someone and i'm not going to be with them there was no way i'm going to be with him like it's like how many times this is now six years i've known this person we're about to be 20 soon i've known this person from 15 to 20 i've dated them from 15 to 20 and they have not changed from about eight from like okay to be honest it was like two three years that he got bad he wasn't bad from the day door because if he was a madman from the day door okay he's not a madman sorry that's rude if he was like a like had some mental issues and like abusive and stuff like that from day door i wouldn't have been with him because I, i've seen my mom go through some stuff so as soon as i clock that he's crazy cray i'll be like okay bye but it's like two three years is enough to change because i gave him time so i felt like no I can't now say, all right, I'll let the baby be born and see how it goes. Because sometimes you have people's babies and they don't change. That's another thing. I feel like having a baby with someone doesn't mean they're going to change. Having a baby with someone is just having a baby with someone. Anyone can get anyone pregnant. It's not that deep. Anyway, long story short, so I now told him that we're done. 
I'm pregnant. He knew anyway I was pregnant anyway, but I told him that we're done. So we're just gonna co-parent. It burnt the hell out of him. It burnt me, but I had to hold it in. And um, he went through his little like stage where he was getting messed up in the head. And obviously I was sad, but I just got on with it. I didn't have a good pregnancy. I won't lie for the, for the views or anything. It was horrible. The whole thing was horrible. So, um, but then, um, he was a good dad in the end. He bought a lot of stuff for my daughter. We did have a mini baby shower that my mum done at home. Came together, looked at all the things. We said thank you to everybody. We didn't pretend though. We kept it real. There wasn't no fake pictures cutting cake and all of that. We kept it real. And all I can say is that for me, it didn't work out in terms of being together. But the co-parenting and stuff has come out well. Like we have our little arguments, but he does write by my daughter. And I do write by my daughter and we communicate and i hope that you know people that watch this and are not in a good place with their baby dad or are about to have somebody's child and they know that it's not right to be with them they will take it in and be like that's true what this girl's saying let me just think about my situation and i'm telling you you will find happiness in the end it is annoying to have a baby and not with the person but someone else will still love you even if you have a child like i used to think if you have someone's child no one will ever want you because they'll be like oh you've got someone's child i don't want you but it's not necessarily like that like after I had the baby, I got back to myself. I became more strong in myself. Like, I was even doing YouTube, but I stopped because it's like, I just had these child. It's just too much, you get it? But now, I'm confident. I've grown. Like, I was so insecure before. Like, a lot of things. A child helps you grow. That's one thing I can say. And I feel like I'm in a better place now. I've got a partner that I love and I'm going to marry. And we're in the stages of that. And my daughter loves him and she loves her dad. Do you get it? So it's like, it can work out for some, but people think, no, like my child won't like the person or that my baby dad's gonna come and like fight the person. But you just gotta pray and be better than that. And he has to be mature and say, do you know what? I'm gonna let you go because I haven't been a good guy. So anyway, long story short, uh, we just carried on co-parenting. She came out, we had her, we co-parented. We had a bit of struggle in the beginning because you know, you're not together as you, he planned in his head as I planned in my head, but we got through it. Um, now my daughter's going four and we're okay. And I've got my partner. I hope he finds his partner and life goes on. And my mum's really helpful. He has his side as well. And yeah, that's my story time about childhood sweethearts. But I feel like um, if I could go back, no, I wouldn't. I like the way the situation is. Uh, it's taught me a lot i've learned a lot i needed to go through that everybody has their testimony everybody has a story to tell and i can now tell my daughter not like about her dad but i can now give her advice when she's dating if i didn't go through that i'd be like nope you know if you be with someone from young you've got to marry them i married your dad do you get it but now i didn't marry her dad i can say okay like if this guy's not treating you right please leave him don't get yourself pregnant and stuff it's not and it's not even don't get yourself pregnant just be careful don't fall in love hard because with me it's not like i got no one really gets their self pregnant on purpose you know what i mean it just happens because you're both enjoying and you're not being smart and then before you know it time's just going and you're just feeling sick one day like Wah. but yeah that's my story and um, i hope that it works for others that have a childhood sweetheart now and if it's not working for you or you understand where i'm coming from please take in what i'm saying like and subscribe and write down below what you think and i should be doing another video soon i'll probably do one every week i wanted to do a q a but i'll probably do it after my third video so you can get to know me a bit more thank you for watching please like and subscribe bye